The evidence revealed during the investigation of this specific case is truly one of the most disturbing and horrific cases of neglect that has ever been recorded. 36-year-old Lacey Ellen Fletcher, who was almost fully paralyzed, was found deceased and melted into her parents' couch with bed sores that had reached up to her bones. The story behind this case will leave you absolutely speechless. Her parents just left her to sit on the couch, leaving her with no choice but to urinate and use the toilet on the couch. It was pretty gruesome. According to District Attorney Sam Diakia, Lacey had not been moved from this position in years. He claimed he had no idea when she had last been relocated and also stated that her condition indicated that she has not received any medical attention in over two decades. According to the medical examiner, the scene was horrible. I've witnessed some heinous things in my life, but nothing quite like this. It turns out that the last time a neighbor saw Lacey Fletcher was 15 years ago, meaning that in a duration of 15 years, no one knew where Lacey was. According to a close neighbor, Robert Blades, Lacey was last seen exercising light weights when she was approximately 21 years old. Lacey was just a pleasant, typical kid, according to Blades, until she became more distant from her neighborhood friends around the age of 14. When last I saw her, she seemed reasonably physically normal, he added. She was always extremely slim. She was exercising on the road, carrying some light weights. Blades also stated that he inquired about Lacey in a discussion with her father, Clay Fletcher, as he didn't see her around in roughly five years. I asked Clay since I haven't seen her in a long time, Blades explained. I genuinely assumed she got married and moved on. Oh no, she's still here, Clay replied, before quickly changing the subject. I took his word for it. I had no idea what was happening across the street from us in the house. There were no warnings, nothing. Dr. Bickham, who was the medical examiner, disclosed the exact cause behind Lacey's torturous passing, which was due to medical neglect, chronic malnutrition, paralysis, peptic ulcer disease, bone infection, and septic infections that were spread across her body. It was clear to say that Lacey suffered a very long and excruciatingly painful life. During the disclosure behind the reason of Lacey's passing, her mother stated, The only diagnosis I know she had was social anxiety and severe autism, which was all. The last time she saw a doctor of any kind was when she was 16 years old. Upon the grand jury judgment, arrest warrants were issued for Lacey Fletcher's parents. Dr. Bickham stated that the photographs of Lacey's condition were so horrific and frightening that medics were on standby for the jury members' sake. When I was presenting the case, showing the images, and given the statement, the grand jury's emotions were in utter disbelief. It was as if the wall clock stopped. There was absolute silence while some jurors gasped in terror. It was the smell of rotten flesh. This is not even how we treat animals, said one witness. Everyone was left wondering, how can a person reach to this point, especially towards a family member? Bickham pronounced Lacey's passing as a murder and demanded a police inquiry, stating serious chronic neglect as the cause of her death. Sheriff Jeff Travis called the case a complicated case with specializing testimonies from doctors and other professionals. Authorities emphasize that this is not a typical crime and that the parents are unlikely to abandon the area, so law enforcement will await the outcome of the grand jury's review. According to Lacey's parents, she developed some degree of autism disorder after ninth grade, which resulted in her having to be homeschooled. During an interview with law enforcement, they argued that she was the one who insisted on never leaving the sofa. Sheila Fletcher, Lacey's mother, stated that she wiped her daughter's sores regularly and that Lacey never complained about anything. At 2 a.m. on January 3rd, Lacey's mom called 911 to report that her daughter had stopped breathing. An officer from the sheriff's office was dispatched to the property. When he arrived at the property, he was greeted with a smell that nearly made him run out of the house. He instantly recognized it as a possible crime scene.
Lacey's malnourished body was found mostly nude, seated upright, and partially buried in a hole in the sofa, completely covered in urine. She had fecal matter smeared over her face, chest, and stomach. Her hair was matted, twisted, and maggot-infested. She also weighed less than 100 pounds. According to the DA, the evidence inside the Fletcher residence indicated that the deceased woman had been neglected for years. The parents were cooking. They had no explanation, he claimed. I couldn't eat for a week as I grieved about this case. He classified her death as homicide with medical neglect as the reason, thinking she died 24 to 48 hours before her official time of death was called in by her mother on January 3, 2022. The tragedy became even more serious as Sheila Fletcher worked with authorities who could have rescued her daughter. She worked as a police and court clerk and also recently started as an assistant for the city prosecutor in Zachary, a somewhat bigger town close by. Following a grand jury inquiry at the Clinton courtroom, her parents, Clay and Sheila Fletcher, were both convicted of second-degree murder and faced life in prison without the possibility of release. The couple was detained hours after the verdict, but they were freed from East Feliciana Parish Jail when a judge set a bond at $300,000. The autopsy report for the January atrocity was not sent to the East Feliciana Sheriff's Office until March. Sheriff Travis has been discussing a plan of action with District Attorney Diakia to assist in the grand jury's final decision. We are yet to know the outcome of the case. What are your thoughts on this case?